In mathematics, there are statements called if and only if statements. What you see here is an example of such a statement. A statement like that is actually two statements combined into one. In abstract terms, p if and only if q, where p and q are statements, and iff is a shorthand for if and only if, actually denotes the pair if q then p and if p then q. So to prove this here, one needs to prove both of these. In the statement p if and only if q, p is called a necessary condition for q. Proving necessity means proving if p then q. And q is called a sufficient condition for p. Proving sufficiency means proving if q then p. So for our example, if we consider the statement, a natural number n is divisible by 35, if it is divisible by both 5 and 7, we are stating a sufficient condition for a natural number n to be divisible by 35. So proving sufficiency means proving this statement here. And for necessity, we have to prove that if n is divisible by 35, then n is divisible by both 5 and 7. Now, if you interchange q and p and write q if and only if p, we get practically the same statement, but sufficiency and necessity have swapped. So the question is, is there a preference for picking which one to be the necessary or sufficient condition? Usually, p is a statement of interest and q is a statement that reads like a list of assumptions, but that is not always the case. A lot of times, sufficient conditions are found first. They are then gradually weakened until they become necessary. For instance, the following is clearly true. Let n be a natural number, then n squared is even if n is 2 or n is 4. And one would have come to this perhaps by some sort of experimentation. And then one would proceed to ask if n squared is even for more values of n other than 2 and 4. In fact, all we need is that n is itself even. This is a much weaker assumption than n equals 2 or 4, in the sense that it is not as restrictive. Notice that it is necessary that n be even, because if n is odd, then n squared is also odd. And so we can state the following theorem. Let n be a natural number, then n squared is even, if and only if n is even. See if you can write down a complete proof for this. Good luck.